Hey everybody, it's Matt. We're going to be taking a look today at four different battery-powered rideables that cover all ages. I was sent all these to have a look at, and I have to say, after spending some time with them, testing them out, all of them would make great additions to your home. From the young age of three, all the way to say, hey, maybe 103, here's four different rideables that would make some excellent gifts this holiday season. Let's start with the Romper Electric Tricycle by Droid. This one's for a child as young as three years old. The Romper Electric Trike is hours of fun for your little one, but definitely puts the age-old holiday tradition of parental assembly required to the test. Parents, unbox and assemble this one before your child even sees it. All the pieces you need to pull apart, like the axles and connector bars, they all come back together, but the instructions I'd say are only about 75% as clear as they need to be. Expect this to take about 40 minutes to assemble and then five to six hours to charge. The charger's AC adapter has an LED indicator, to let you know when things are done and then the power switch located on the seat tells you how much battery life is left as well. You'll get about 45 minutes of operation off a full charge and the seat is adjustable so your child gets maximum usage out of it as they grow. Operating the tricycle is easy and safe. The throttle button is located on the right front handle and all your child has to do is push the button down to go and release to stop. Really responsive. An LED indicator shows you how much battery life is left, and a key system lets you shift up and down the max speeds between 3 and 6 miles an hour. There's a safety flag on the back so you don't lose sight of where your little one is, and they'll love the flashy lights all around. Unfortunately, no riding footage here because there's nobody in my house small enough to ride it, but trust me, it's cool, and my daughter says she would have wanted one when she was 3. Over to one that she can ride and your kid can graduate up to. This is the 9Bot Zing A6 kick scooter powered by Segway. It requires a little bit of assembly, but not much. This is the first entry into electric scooters for ages 4 plus, and should take them through to about 8 or 9 years old depending on how tall they are. Weighing just 9 pounds, this can reach a top speed of up to 12 kilometers an hour using a graduated series of 3 different speed options. This scooter gets a range of about 5 kilometers per charge, and it's a straight up kid scooter. Bright colors, uh, flashing lights, you just step on the foot pedal to turn it on, and then build up some speed to get it going and ride on. This is pretty what you see is what you get type of scooter and it doesn't fold up but it uh, fits comfortably in a car trunk nevertheless because it's pretty small. We also took this one out at night at a low speed too as you see because I wanted to see how well things lit up and how safe it was and how far I could see her from uh, wherever we were. I think we did pretty well. I hope the patrons of the track don't mind because I felt like I was safer on a closed environment like this at dusk and nightfall than being out on the streets uh, and the sidewalks. Next up is the next step up for your child. This is the 9Bot Zing C20 e-kick scooter powered by Segway. The product basically comes assembled out of the box, but you'll still need to do a little bit to put it together. While the handlebars and the footrest are connected by wiring, you'll still need to clamp them together. The nice thing is the handle folds down for easier storage in a vehicle. So here it is alongside the last model we're going to review today that I'll talk about in a minute. One of the nice things about the Zing C20 is that it gives your rider graduated entry options from manual kickstarts at a low top speed, so that's cruise mode, which has uh, more of an emphasis on foot pedaling, to a higher top speed, which is uh, safe mode, caps out at 10 kilometers an hour, and then turbo mode, which goes to the full speed of 20 kilometers an hour, through the use of a built-in throttle on the handlebars. Also carries a battery or riding range of 20 kilometers. Now, this one's interesting for us because my daughter had never ridden on a scooter with quick accelerating speed like this before, and even then she was already comfortable cruising at the top speed within about 5 minutes and felt really comfortable doing it. Given that this looks more like an adult scooter, there are some visual features that will still appeal to the kid at heart. You won't get the crazy flashing fluorescence like the Zing A6 has, but there are still some lights on board which are really noticeable, especially in lower lighting situations. It's a big win from our household. After riding this one around, my daughter is ridiculously happy now wants to get herself one to ride around in warmer weather next summer. The last one is for the big kids and grown-ups. This is the 9Bot E2 kick scooter and is a pretty beefy model, boasting a 3-inch LCD screen that tells you what mode you're on, how fast you're going, your battery life, reflective lights on the front and back. This one is ready to move day or night. With a top speed of up to 20 kilometers an hour in sport mode, a range of 25 kilometers, and a mobile app where you can lock and unlock your scooter as well as track your distance over time, this is the best option for you commuters. It's heavier than the other models at 35 pounds, but also folds down for easy transport and can support riders up to 90 kilograms. At a top speed again of 20 kilometers an hour, scooter's still meant for beginner riders. Uh, one of the biggest concerns I've always had on these is the ability for me to maintain my balance. 
The E2 is the perfect scooter for that with a uh, really wide footboard and again, really easy to, to use out of the box. You can start with a safe mode that caps out at five kilometers an hour and graduate, graduate your way up to sport mode, which is where you get the max speed. If you've always wanted to dip your toes into an electric scooter, this is definitely the right model to do it with. It travels at a decent enough speed that you won't get disoriented right away, and you can get a lot of riding experience on a model like this before jumping up to something that's maybe a little bit more serious and a little faster. Uh, there are some special considerations on how to handle hills, as it powers better than other scooters I've ridden on a hill. I just can't keep my balance personally, so you're not really going to see me be able to do that in the video, uh, and I'm sure it's a nice feature for those of you that can use it without looking foolish like I do. Braking is a snap. You can slow down by easing on the throttle and stop altogether with the brake attached to the left handlebar. This is definitely a great little vehicle to cruise around on, and I think it's definitely a great model for your teenagers or yourselves to ride alongside your kids. I know that's what my daughter wants, uh, for us to get matching scooters and spend more time riding them together in the summer. Well, I guess it's a good thing the holidays are around the corner, right? Every rideable we've looked at in this video, the Romper Electric Trike, the 9-Bot Zing A6, the 9-Bot Zing C20, and the 9-Bot Kick Scooter E2 are now available through Best Buy. I hope this makes your holiday shopping a little easier. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and we'll see you next time.